It's really early, it's 7am. What a beautiful morning, didn't expect that at all. But today we're going on an adventure. We're going to cruise on another boat. We're going on the Thames today. We're helping our friend Yellow move his boat onto the Thames from Brentford to Teddington. Yeah, we heard he was doing it and we thought, gosh, shall we give it, shall we give it a go? Have a bit of an adventure. It's been a bit of a miserable week with the constantly raining pretty much for the last two weeks. But we're in a really beautiful spot. Off we go to the Thames. You excited? Very, very excited. We've not done the tidal Thames yet. His boat is awesome, by the way, as well. I can't wait to show you. You've probably seen it on the thumbnail on the way in. I'm so excited for this adventure. We're doing something different. We're going on the river and the weather's actually looking pretty nice. It's been gray for way too long. Also, the internet on the boat is not very good here. The downloading speed is okay, but uploading speed is like 0.01, which I didn't realize until the day I needed to upload the video. So, as you know, patrons get their video a week ahead, so I couldn't upload yesterday at all. I'm setting up an uploading station in the back of the car and hoping that I can do, do it while we're driving to London. A bit of a backstory. Last year, we spent a whole summer on the Thames, traveling from Lechlade to Henley. Then, just as it started to flood, we escaped into the Kennet and Avon Canal for winter. Or at least we thought we did. But that's a whole other story. Eight months later, we're still on the canal, unable to get back on the Thames, as it rained for so long in May. Excited? Yeah, I'm excited. The weather is so eerie. Yeah, so eerie. But um, yeah, I'm excited. We've just learned that apparently uh, the, the Thames is shut um, at Hammersmith Bridge and they're not letting any boats go through. Um, some of you may, may already know that it was um, condemned for needing some major repair work, but I think last summer in the heat um, there were cracks found, so people aren't allowed to walk over it and boats aren't allowed to go under it. So if you wanted to go through sort of Tower Bridge and go into Limehouse, you can't do that anymore at the moment. Hello friend, thanks for coming to say hi. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're about to go onto the Tidal Thames. I've never been on the Tidal Thames before. I'm very excited. No. Nope. I haven't been on the Thames before on this boat at all. Yeah. I've, I've only got it um, six months ago and I've been on the canals in London. So I'm very excited to get onto the Thames and uh, seeing how wide, wide the river is. Oh, it's very exciting. Just in case. <laughs> Someone take it down from somewhere. <laughs> so everything is really exciting. We're just gonna have to get onto the river and explain everything to you guys later. No. I wonder why I got that job. You could have it. <laughs> Um, 
think we need to blow up in the event of using them. So they're not currently blown up. I think I'm going to choose a one that's not blown up. I have the blue one. You have the blue one? Fine, that's yeah. your... And when do we blow up? Do we blow it up before? Before you jump Be off? <laughs> before you drown? <laughs> before, before we go in the water or like after? Should have a little gas bottle in it so when you fall in it should have self inflate. Ah. It's got a gas bottle here. Oh, and that's just for topping oh. it up? That's for topping it up. Oh, I see. But they do need service servicing. Oh, so, so what? It'll well, automatically It should inflate. do. It should do. So um, I did the Brentford flight of locks, so it was eight locks, I did them on my own. Haven't done locks since I did training six months ago, uh, so I was really proud of myself that I did them. Uh, and there was a four hour window in the morning of decent weather, so I just got up really early and uh, did, all, did the flight and it was so satisfying by, by right. the end of the day, yeah, it was great. Well done, well done. Oh gosh, that's it. <laughs> And we can get an environmental license at the next one, yeah. Great, cool. thank you. So we're turning left, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> So left goes into London, up to Tower Bridge and, and, all of, and Limehouse and all of that and then right goes out of London so we're, we're turning right here. We made a decision to come uh, on Toadie and support these guys yesterday. Mars had, a, had an idea and we just kind of decided on the whim. And first we didn't think we had enough uh, life jackets. So I posted on KNA group to ask if anyone's got one to like hire or borrow. And because we're on the KNA and there are yellow boards on KNA and the redding is red boarded and around the terms I think are yellow and red. So everyone instead of instead of talking about the life jackets, everyone was like, have you checked the river, have you checked the conditions? But actually this bit of the Thames is absolutely fine. There are no stream warnings, no warnings, so it's super safe. <laughs> oh, it feels so different, like we're bobbing up and down like a, like a proper boat. Feel, it feels much different on the river. Yeah. From now to Teddington, the river is tidal. Yellow booked the lock for the early morning, as we are only allowed to cruise this stretch at certain times of the day. It took us about an hour to get through.
going to knock the locks. So yeah, that's the, the locks on the left leg. It was all excitement aboard Toadie this morning. Firstly, none of us been on the tidal Thames before. But also, after almost eight months on the canal, we've completely forgotten what it's like to cruise on the river. The new experience and change of familiar environment all together felt like an amazing holiday. I'm suffocating in this kid's life jacket. Now the Thames is starting to look more familiar, more like an upper Thames that we actually have seen. Um, very, very beautiful. What do you think? Wow, it's so grand. There's loads of beautiful old bridges and houses and Immediately, people are just using the river completely different to how people use the canal. We've got rowers, paddle boarders, R and L, visitor boats. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. It's like a totally different experience. It's like. I'm not expecting this. I didn't, when I booked the Thames, I didn't really know what to expect, but yeah, it wasn't this. This is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Genuinely feel like you're on a boat. <laughs> yeah, We decided to more up, have a quick breakfast and check out a Chandler nearby because Yellow has never been to Chandler and we need some stuff for a um, for an engine service. Loads of bugs around here. Like, I don't know, 170 heat. Got some power. 
How many horsepower is it? 50? 50, okay. I'm gonna hold it quite sturdy in the place. Yeah. I bet Tony's yeah. got a big rudder. Is it a big rudder? Pretty big rudder. I feel like I wanna do this. <laughs> yeah, it's like a dog. It's like a two-hand dog. It's very, it's like very sensitive. Which is good. Yeah, yeah. We're coming up to Hampton Court Palace and we're about to moor up just outside with the palace view. This is by far the most luxurious free mooring we've ever seen, with the view of Hampton Court Palace, which is actually two palaces, a Tudor palace on one side and a Baroque palace on the other. So I've just looked up one of those electric hydrofoils and guess how much it is? I said 3,300. What do we have? Two and a half? I said it was two, yeah, two and a half thousand. Yeah. They're 10,500 euros. You can get a narrow boat for that money. As if the day couldn't get any better, the evening was complete with a double rainbow just above Toadie. 
Thank you all so much for watching, for commenting, for liking the videos and subscribing. It really helps out our channel. A very special thanks to our Patreons and PayPal supporters who help us to make these videos every week. And especially these guys who go above and beyond supporting us to upgrade our equipment and invest more time in video production. If you've been watching for a while, consider joining us on Patreon to watch the next episode today, bonus content and many other packs. Thanks guys, see you in the next one!